Hi folks, well we're back from Spain now. We've been to um, Benidorm. Benidorm, first time there for us. We absolutely enjoyed it. And we're bringing back a bit of sunshine with you because we've got this lot. We're going to create some tapas. Our own tapas. Right, well, we've never had tapas before, and we had out there, there's so many tapas bars out there. Yeah. And uh, if you've seen our Benidorm uh, collection of videos, you'll see in there that there was literally racks and racks of them. So we didn't understand fully what tapas was. Apparently tapas originated as little bowls that people used to put uh, bar snacks in, different types of bar snacks, and you would have them with a drink. Well, tapas over the years has evolved, and they've evolved into what you call pinchos, Sharon. Pinchos, yeah. I like it. Pinchos. We didn't know that. I mean, the people out there obviously do know have told us in the comments section. What we had out there was pinchos, but they do sell pinchos in tapas bars, and that's the way people tend to go now. So we've got a selection of stuff here. Let's have a little look at what we got. So literally, Sharon, we went down the supermarket, didn't we? Mm. And we got a French loaf, which isn't traditionally Spanish, I know, no. but that's what they make bread it with. Breadstick, you should say, breadstick. A breadstick, that's right. And we've got a salt and pepper breadstick, so to speak, with salt and pepper seasoning on it. Uh, we also got some grated uh, cheese there. We've also got a few soft cheeses and pâtés and things there, just to put on there as well. And this is just a selection of stuff that we're going to top our pinchos with, or tapas, whatever you want to call it. This is it. what we would like on yeah, ours. This that's is right. our personal choice. Yeah, I and mean, we think that they do actually create the uh, Spanish feel as well. Mm. So we've got some uh, onion there, some raw onion. We've got some pan, is that, what's that called? Pancetta? Pancetta, yeah. Pancetta, we've also got some... Spicy salami. Yep. We've got a few red peppers there sliced up thinly. We've also got black pudding. Now they did have black pudding ones yeah. out in Spain, but we never actually tried it. But I want to try some, because we have got some. We've got some green olives there that have been stuffed with uh, garlic. We've got some... Uh, Chorizo sausage, which has got to be cooked. Yeah, and we've also got some prawns as well, folks. So that's what we've got there. And just over here as well, we have got these... Oh, I love that. Mozzarella and slow roasted tomatoes in a lovely base there, as you can see. So we're going to be going with that. That's what we're going to be making ours with. Right, so let's put some of these together and we'll have a little talk and a little taste. How about that? Oh, yes. Thank you. Get on with it, baby. So with this one, folks, we're just going to spread some soft white cheese on, put plenty on. And Sharon's going to be taking Thanks. some of this sun-dried tomato off of that uh, mozzarella thing there. Look at that, look at that, folks, look. Already it's looking like proper tapas or pinchos, yeah, if you want to call it that. would be nice just on its own, Of course it, it would be. Sometimes little is a... Uh, Better than more, shower. Well, to get the full flavour. But now you're going to go in with the prawns on this one. We've got some lovely prawns there, as you can see, folks. And just lay a couple on there like that, look. These are coming together lovely already, Sharon. And don't forget them onion, them, them um, tomatoes have already been seasoned as well. You happy with that? I think I might cut a mozzarella Go on, yeah, go for it. Cut a mozzarella up. Just whack one of them in the middle. And don't forget your little pincho stick, Sharon. Yeah. Look at that. And they will be available in the description below these. Yeah, these are the actual sticks that they used out in Spain, weren't they? So there yeah. you go. There's our first two crepes. Right, that's folks. our first two. These aren't going to be warmed up. These are to be eaten cold. Right, with this one, we're going to take some liver pate, folks. This is going to be quite a meaty little number, Sharon. Yeah. So again, just spread on the uh, uh, yeah on the breadstick. Just put, put put a nice layer down, folks. Put a nice layer down. And then with this one going to uh, hit it with the, the black pudding, Sharon. Ooh. This is a meaty little number, Sharon. This is carnivore's delight, Sharon. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, nice. I like it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Would you, would you like a bit of cheese sprinkled on that one? Yeah, go on then. Try yeah. that. Try that, This Sharon. is a more you one, this one, isn't it? Yeah. More than me. Just put a little bit on there, baby. There we go. So that is, push that on there nicely, because the trouble is, folks, in the air fryer, that'll blow away, you see? So you, you've really got to push it in. So that's another two, folks. Right, going in again, Sharon. What are we going to go for again? We're, We're going to have a bit of cheese the, on the bottom. The soft cheese again. We'll have a little go at that. Mind you, people, you can buy flavoured soft cheese, actually, as well, can't you? Garlic you in. You can put whatever, Sherry, that's the thing. You yeah. can make what you like. Your take on these. Right, OK, so that's that on there. Now you're going for the... Cheeky 
chorizo sausage. The chorizo sausage. This stuff is uncooked, shall Yeah. But the, you can buy it obviously cooked. It's not going to take long to cook. And I'm it's hoping it's going to release the oils into that uh, little bread underneath. So that's that. Put some onion on. Yeah, nothing yeah. nicer than sausage and onion, is there? There's lovely raw. We've got it in slices here, folks, as you can see. There we go. Whack that on there. That's lovely. Do we want to whack an olive on there? Do you know what? I'm going to cut a bit of this off. Go on, then. Drop Lay it. some of that on there. I'm just going to rip it. See, we're winging it, folks. But people in uh, Spain do spend a lot of time on the preparation. This is the first time we've done it. We could improve it, but don't forget, we're also going to be cooking on, these in the air fryer. Right, put the uh, olive on the top, baby. Yeah. One you, olive in the middle. Or you could have put the olives on after when it's cooked. Yeah, don't matter. We'll just char that olive Up a little to bit. You. Right, there we go. So let's put them ones in the air fryer, ready to go. Right, next one, we're going to go for some of this sun-dried tomato in uh, oil, which is a lovely, summery, spicy little dish this year. You know what, I'm going to put a little bit yeah, of put, that oil on. Yeah, put the oil on there, shall Don't mess about. That's it, just dry, drizzle, shall We like a little drizzle. Drizzle that oil. All over, oh, that's superb. Right, and then we're going with that, we're going with the mozzarella balls that come with that. We're just going to lay them on there, folks. And this is another one that's going to be uh, heated up, so we'll just uh, lay them on there. And what about one of those, uh, Pe yeah, cut them down a bit. This can be like a vegetarian one, can't well, it? it can be. They normally do it as a cross shell. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go, lovely, yeah. In fact, you could have that one hot or cold, couldn't you? Yeah. Should we do one of each? Yeah, we'll have one of these hot and one, one cold. One hot and one cold, folks. How about so it? Stick, on... stick the thing in that, Oh, yeah? forgot my little stick. Stick your, stick your stick in it. Right through the middle, so it don't move. Do you know what? Because it's a little bit vegetarian. Go on, then. See, we're making, we're winging it, folks. We're winging it. That's another one of them done. So I'll put that one in the air fryer with the other ones we've got there. Aren't they already, folks, starting to look very, very colourful and also <laughs> edible? I and then ones, look. I can't wait to try them. Oh, you'll think, we'll eat it in the garden, well, shall we? Well, the sun's right, not okay. out. Well, yeah, you're liking that, aren't you? I, I love these really. sun-dried uh, tomatoes. I can't so much flavour in them. I'll just whack them on there again. And we've got this, um, this stuff here. Yeah, put a bit of that on. Well, I'm going to have that bit myself, shall we? Oh, right. A little bit peckish. Oh, I could taste the oils on it, shall Oh, you're going for the meaty number again? Yeah. Now, do we want a bit of cheese on that? We'll cut one of these in half. Get your balls out, shall we? Unbelievable. There we go. So that's another two, folks. Mm -mm. See, we're just having fun with it. We're messing around in the kitchen, shall we? How good is this, though, when you're having a barbecue for something different as well? It to, is different. To lay out as well when yeah. you're having a barbecue. As you can see, it doesn't take long. Right, what are we doing with them? Both like, in there? Yeah. One thing I did notice is that uh, they never put any butter on the bread. I don't suppose it matters really, but again, we're going in with a pate. We'll do one pate, Sharon, mm -hmm. and do one cream cheese. And then we'll finish off. We've got to make what one we'd really fancy. You choose what you'd really like, what's left, and I'll choose what I want. Right, for you and for me, so we'll yeah. make our own individual yeah. one, yeah. These are just generic ones we're making at the yeah. moment, folks. So, what's your, not, what's your tool, Sharon? I'll just pass this enough one for now. I'll clean it off. I'll have to do the washing up there, won't I? Right, so last couple here of the generic ones we're making and then we'll create our own ones folks so we're going in with this one with oh, i've forgotten what you said well i said chorizo and onion didn't i not that no the big round chorizo That's salami oh is it salami well i don't, I don't know what it is shall yeah i brought it I it's a spicy it. little number it's spicy salami uh slice of onion on there yep nice which you can see we do love onion yeah we'll whack it on this yeah Right, so that's another one. Right, okay. Make your one now, Sharon. I think I'm going to have a bit of cheese, actually, on the bottom. Okay. That's my favourites. Well, I knew you'd have a prawn. Now what? Right, I'm going to have a bit of sun-dried tomato. Okay, get that on there. That. And I'm just going to have a bit of pancetta. Not so that is it. That's your one. Yes, that's right. It. That's got to be cooked as well, then. Okay, then. Mm. 
Oh. Right, I've got a little spicy number. I've got some green jalapenos I've just dug out of there, folks. So, uh, I'll see you give me the smallest bit possible, well, baby. What's the other bit that's right there? Oh. You cut the bread. I'll have a go. Let's put your one to the side for a minute. Right, this is a meaty little number. Let me clean that first. So I'm gonna go in again with the pate. Pate. Press it right in, Sharon. I want it going right to the edges. And I'm gonna go with uh, the bit of chorizo. Like that. This is gonna be a spicy little one. Just like that. See that prawn there? That's not going on there, that's going in there. Mm. Right. We've got these jalapenos. And these, I know, have got a kick, Sharon. So I'm gonna whack a couple of them, I'm not gonna go too mad. One there like that. Okay, put that down there like that. And then I'm also gonna pancetta it on the top. I'm gonna to encase it, Sharon. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like that. And that's as simple as I'm going to do it, baby. I'm not going to go no more than that. That's so, very simple. It is simple. So Right, OK, so that's mine and Sharon. You're simple Simon. Hey? <laughs> you simple Simon. <laughs> so, those are the two. We're going to do these ones in a separate air fryer. I'm going to do them in the Ninja over there, only because we ain't got enough room now. Show them what's in there, shall? So that's all our little tapas, which is going to be heated up. Looks yummy. And these ones here uh, are ready to be eaten cold, so we're going to be having them. So let's get them in there. Right, so we're gonna put them ones in there. We're gonna put them on 190 and we're gonna do them for probably five minutes. Just see how that goes, shall we? Yeah. We've just got our Ninja tray out now and we're just gonna literally put them ones in there and do them in our Ninja, which is our, not no, this is the Ninja AF400. AF and again, let's turn that on. We're gonna put it on air fry. We're gonna do that on 190 and the time we're gonna do them for is five minutes as well, folks. And off we go. Well, here they are, folks. Let's have a closer look at them. Don't they look great? Don't forget, folks, we've never made these before. We've just been inspired by our visit to Spain and these are the cold ones over here. Superb. I can't believe how good they look, Sharon. They look really authentic, don't they? Yeah. I'd, I'd buy them, Sharon. Would you? Yeah. How about your building? <laughs> Shall we, uh, let's just spin that one round, folks. That's the one, um, Sharon's creation, her one there. That's the one I've created there. And don't forget, as I say, we've only put these in there for five minutes, Sharon. Mm. And they've really toasted off well on 180. Yeah. Was it 190, sorry? 190. 190. Right, okay. Well, I think it's only fair that you go in for your one first, Sharon, the one that you actually created. Okay. So if I give you that now, don't forget to take your stick out. Oh. Let's see what you think of this. Oh, oh, look at it running down you. Yeah, you've got to be careful, baby. Mm. I'm more worried about the microphone. <laughs> Well, that was lovely. is it? She's liking the taste of it, folks. Let me have a go at my one. There's so many here to taste. Too good to share. Well, you don't, that's the idea of it, Sharon. It's, sharing, it. it's a sharing dish. I'm not letting you show my creation. No, you can carry on with your one, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that, folks. Look, that looks absolutely superb. Oh, let me go in. Oh, Sharon. Oh, for all blinking Spanish, Sharon. That is superb. Mmm. Come here. Help me up. I'll tell you what, I'll buy that. I really would buy that. The kick of that chili, was it pop, 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 what's your name? Jalapeno. Jalapeno? Really does add something to that one, shall I don't know why we didn't think of that earlier on. Oh, dig in, what are you going to go for? Um, I'll try this one next. Right, what's on that one? Sun dried tomato, parma ham, mozzarella. Get in there, go in. You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. I knew that looks good. Mm. They're so tasty. I've got to try this one, folks. 
This has got the pate. This has got a bit of cheese on it and also the black pudding. Lately, lately it's you. Oh, winner, winner. Chicken dinner all the time. That's not a bad one here. And it's taken the humble loaf, Sharon, mm. slice of bread, putting these little toppings on, air frying for five minutes, and just creating pinchos or tapas, whatever way you want to think it is. I just want to try that one there, Sharon. That one's got my name all over it again. This is a little meaty number with a bit of onion and an olive, Sharon. They are so good. Oh, 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 got it all over me, pink moustache, Sharon. Oh. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to try a cold one now. Oh, go on then. Try a cold one, Sharon. I forgot about yeah. that. Well, mm. nice. Very nice. Well, I hope you're inspired to give these a little go, folks. It just has a bit of fun than making a sandwich. Thanks very much. I'm glad you enjoyed our holiday videos, folks, which, uh, uh, that's our first time in Benidorm. And hello to everyone that came up and said hello to us. It was lovely meeting you all. Yes, absolutely. And we had some lovely kind words said to us as well in the description below and the people we met. Oh, we've also got a letter, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Right there. So we went down the ragged apron when we got back straight away. So it's about mm. half past nine in the morning. And we were presented with this for Martin and Sharon, Butler's Empire. And it is a big thank you card from one of our subscribers. And she actually put some cash in there for me and Sharon to have a breakfast, which was absolutely fantastic. And we did. Sheila and Kev. Sheila and Kev, they have given us a little personal message there. We won't read that out to you, but thank you very much, Sheila and Kev. And I'm glad the videos have actually helped you as well, which we've done uh, in the previous videos. So Sheila and Kev, thanks very much. She did leave one for Lee Van Camp as well, Sheila, they did. Really? Yeah. I brought Jimmy a drink. And also thank they you. went to the uh, Gulf Hotel, which is across the road. They met, met Jimmy there as well, our youngest son and uh, they bought him a, uh, put a drink across the bathroom as well. So thank you very much yeah. for all our people who have come up to us while we've been away on holiday. We thoroughly enjoyed meeting you all. Uh, a lot of you didn't go on the camera, but um, those of you who did, we had a bit of fun with them, didn't we? We did, it was lovely meeting you all. And we have got some extra videos coming up, folks. We're gonna plan more trips out and about throughout the year. We've got um, Greece to go in October, Sharon. But before that, we're going out on days out here, there and everywhere, starting from next, next week. week. But you probably might see that the week after we're going down to London to visit Camden Down Town and the surrounding street areas food. for the street food down Ooh. there. We're going to be having a look at some of that as well. Anyway, keep tuned, folks. Thanks very much for all the new subscribers. Hope you do enjoy our content. Do have a little backlog of our videos. We've got loads of cooking videos like this, and we've also got our Sunday vlog, which we had a record number of people yeah, in last thank week. Thank you very much. In the chat, we had over 1,800 people in the chat on, on Sunday's vlog. That's when we come back. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, and until then, bye for now. Bye. Yeah, I'll show you. You have the two cold ones, I'll have all these.